There's a sizable mine in Montana that still operates without a fleet management system. This means that pretty much all movement of vehicles is directed by voice commands between the dispatch team and the drivers. For example, a haul truck driver has just finished loading at the shovel and he's headed toward the dump location. Now often there's multiple dump locations, so the dispatch operator will confirm the driver's destination and then give them any other useful information about the road conditions that other drivers are relaying back to dispatch. This sounds pretty straightforward until the driver gets lost because the road changed since the last work shift that they had and it takes them an extra 20 minutes to get to the dump site. Dispatch has no way of knowing that the driver went off course until the driver calls in for directions and has to describe where they are. These inefficiencies and many others are addressed in a fleet management system. And even more efficiencies can be realized with autonomous systems. In this video, I'll describe fleet management and autonomous operation in a bit more detail. First of all, fleet management. Some people absolutely love working in the remote and harsh environments of a mine, but many don't. And employee turnover is pretty high. These less experienced drivers need the best fleet management possible to ramp up their efficiency as quick as possible after they're hired. Each vehicle has hundreds of data points that can be monitored by various software platforms. Drivers benefit from live maps and fatigue monitoring systems. Maintenance teams appreciate the visibility of tire pressure monitoring and other predictive maintenance systems. By exploring the fleet management use case in Cisco's Portfolio Explorer, You'll find more details on the business drivers, the technical components, and the partnerships involved in deploying this use case. The second use case is autonomous operation. The most modern mines today operate many of their vehicles autonomously or semi-autonomously through teleremote operations. What exactly does that mean? Some vehicles have a well-defined path, like haul trucks, that go back and forth between the face of the mine and dump locations. For these vehicles, the mine can map out and build roads that can be followed repetitively by computer-controlled trucks. And then computer systems and sensors are used to avoid collisions and adjust for any anomalies. But for vehicles that have less predictable movement, like dozers, drills, and graders, a better way to automate movement is through teleremote operation. In this case, there's still an operator that sets a path and a destination point for each activity that the vehicle completes. But what makes this operation efficient is locating the drivers or operators in major centers, possibly hundreds of kilometers from the mine, and then setting up the activities so one operator can control four or five vehicles at a time. By exploring the autonomous and remote control use case in Cisco's Portfolio Explorer, you'll find more details on the business drivers, technical components, and partnerships involved in deploying this use case. In summary, fleet management and ultimately autonomous operation can provide mining companies with significant cost savings and productivity gains. The technology and partnerships required to make these operating models a success, they require an ecosystem of companies that work well together. And Cisco provides that. For more information, check cisco.com go mining. Take care.